say Luanda deserved winners and here's how they did it five minutes in slight deflection on the free kick Lyle Lakai scoring a second goal of the campaign to put the visitors in front the foul that builds up to that saw Kinto get, pick up his third yellow card of the campaign he will not be available for the second leg but then Pretty swiftly, the equaliser. Thiago Agiel out, dealing in between two defenders, get back on the end of a, a lovely weighted cross from Tocarnero to make it 1-1, and that really lit the touch paper in the first half. Beautifully weighted cross, lovely run too between the two central defenders. Still, other chances though in that first half. Swane here somehow rounded the keeper, somehow missed the target. The rebound was then plowed wide. And Girardi then taking on the fullback as the clock ticked into first half stoppage time. Lovely little flick from Agilau, clawed away by Onyango. The rebound buried by Yano for his second goal of the campaign. And just on the stroke of half-time, Petroleos suddenly in control. And that was that for a pulsating first half. Into the second half, early chance here. Great shot, save from Wellington. Shalalili uh, header. And then the shot back in, didn't miss the uh, upright by March either. Really good save, in fact, sorry, I beg your pardon, that was Onyango with the header. And then the shot comes in, wasn't far wide. But after absorbing lots of pressure, Petrolios came on strong late in that second half, and Asielau thought he'd made it 3-1, just moments after a Penalty was not given for what appeared to be a handball. Sprawling save by Onyango. And that was that. 2-1 for Petroleos. 